Today's a very cool day because I actually get to show you guys the whole line. Talk about the fit, the sizing, and a little bit before I do that, I wanna kinda of talk about the whole process of this. So this is going back like a year ago. Gymshark and myself developed, wanted to come up with developing a line. Um, we spent a couple days comp shopping. So Gymshark was really like, Steve, what do you like? What is it What is it that inspires you? And I've always been like, hey, bigger guys, especially US sizes, Gymshark, you guys have a phenomenal lineup of clothes, but it doesn't always fit me that well. And I know some of you guys out there have voiced some of those same concerns and I think they're doing a great job with changing that up and kind of really nailing down the fit on all the Gymshark stuff, more standardizing the fit. This line specifically is gonna run a little bit larger than most people are used to and, and really kind of the inspiration behind this is I remember going over to Australia years ago and just being like a kid in a candy store because jeans, shirts, they were longer, they had different elements of layering, all the cuts weren't symmetrical. And I was like, this is amazing. All these very fashion forward things were fitting me. I kind of went crazy those first couple years. I ended up realizing that most of the stuff I wear in my closet are Australian. So before we started having tight, tight joggers at the bottom, I saw that in Australia. Before we started doing drop crotch stuff, I saw it in Australia. Scoop necks, um, tall tees, the scoop bottom. This was, they were doing this six years ago when I was down there. And I remember wearing drop crotch Xanaro pants and people being like, yo, what, what style is that here in the US, but it caught up and I think this line really kind of embodies that style and I wanted to make sure it fits. So this is gonna be, like I said, a Gymshark line that runs bigger than what you're used to. So without further ado, we're gonna jump into everything. I don't have all of the clothes. Here. I don't have every color and every style here. So I'll go over not only the styles, but what colors they come in, in as well. And I'm super pumped about it. So let's jump into it. This has been a long time coming, and I'm gonna go over what I'm wearing first. This is actually the Select line. So I have the Select joggers on, and I have the Select pullover crop sleeve hoodie. Um, with these, what we're gonna, you're not gonna see any of the raw edges. It's similar in a lot of ways. We have the kangaroo pocket here. We do have the zip on the side. You can see nothing really in my line is going to have just straight edges, straight bottoms. We do have the, the raw edge on the sleeve here. That was something I definitely wanted to have. And then you see the detail in the stitching. So it has, you know, almost like that you cut it off yourself. I wanted it to have that kind of rawness, that realness. But then down here, it's a little bit more, you know, we have the mesh in the back, the mesh that runs down. Of course, we have the Steve Cook on there. It's just a really cool feel. With the Select Joggers, it is a drop crotch. So with both of the the sweatpants, we have the drop crotch. If I do another line, I'll probably make one one not a drop crotch, just because I don't think every body type looks good in a drop crotch, mine included. Um, but I, did, I definitely wanted to do that first. Also, another thing you notice at the bottom, you can roll these, which gives it more of kind of like a, a fancier look. Uh, when, I was, when I was doing, when I was looking around, I wanted to kind of separate this jogger from the other one with these little details. Now you can just wear it down, and then we have, again, the mesh paneling on the back. That mesh paneling on the back is kind of what sets this one apart from the other. And then of course, in the knee area, we have the stitching just to give it a little bit more detail and to shape it to where it comes a little bit tighter on the knee. That's what I love with these. So this, in this particular item, I am an XL. So I'm an, I'm an XL in a, in a lot of the tops because of my arms, and then also through the chest area. Now. If I, I don't even fit into most XLs and Gymshark in the arms, my arms are just, are, are always gonna run big. Arms and then, it's always the arms and then the shoulders. If you're a large in the US and most things, you're gonna be a large. If, if you're a large in Gymshark, you're gonna probably be a medium in this line. For the bottoms, I am a large. Um, I have about a 33 inch waist right now, and a large is plenty, plenty big for me right now. And the, again, the drop crotch. If you don't love the drop crotch, some things I do if I'm working out and I need to like sprint or something, I just roll that top and it's fine there. We have the zippers down the side. Um, the zippers, they're a, just, a, uh, just your basic plain small zipper. Very discreet there. Um, from there, 
the colors. In this particular, the select line, we've chosen two colors. Black, because I love black. I'm gonna wear black almost in everything. And then also, I call it a green, like an army or a camo green. Um, in the UK, you guys call this khaki, which was a huge thing when I was developing this line. When they were saying khaki, I thought they were talking about tan. So those are just some, some, just some differences. You also in the back, we have a pocket again on both of, of the glutes there. <laughs> and then you have the Gymshark Steve Cook collection um, and then Steve Cook down the side. But it's that back paneling as well as, um, oh, the paneling here on the sweatshirt that matches. From there, we've just created a select drop hole sleeveless pullover, which is gonna fit a little bit different. Um, it's gonna come, we'll try that on here in a second. And then we also have the sweats. Now both, both of these pieces also come in the alternate color. So this, there's a green in that or a khaki, and there's a black in this. With this, we're gonna have the paneling on the inside, just like we do on the short but of course we stop at about right here. We're gonna try these on here in a second too, but pretty much the exact same thing as the sweats, just in a short variation. And then with that, we have the three quarter leggings. So we're gonna try these on right now, I'm gonna go over them. All right, here I am in the select shorts and the select drop hole pullover. Now again, we have the rough edges on this. If you like your stuff fitting a little bit tighter, um, like for me, this is an XL top. And again, it is nice and long. I have a longer torso. So I'm six foot one, about 220 pounds right now. And this is an XL. I don't have a massive chest, but again, usually where things don't fit me, typically is in the arms and in the shoulder. So a piece like this, I could even get away with wearing a large because obviously there's no shoulders or arm holes here. So this, if you like it a little bit longer, a little bit more baggy, keep that in mind just kind of know where your, you know, what kind of body type you have and where things usually typically fit you tight. I could definitely get away with a large in this because I'm really between probably an XL and a large. Um, the shorts, you can see you have enough just, just to wear that bottom of the quads hanging out. So I wanted it to be a short that you actually, when you're doing squats, you, you actually see your legs. Um, when you're doing leg curls and leg extension, then it's really just easy to pull them up. This fabric is super stretchy, it's not very restrictive, so you can just pull them up if you need to, if you want to. And then the leggings, I like to wear my leggings right, right below the calf right here. And the leggings are tricky. You can either wear them up here, or you can wear them below the calves, and depending on how high your calves are, but it's gonna get loose if you wear them too low. So it shouldn't be all the way down there because you see it getting loose. So hopefully, you have calves that fit. You have big enough calves that's gonna fit or else you're gonna probably wanna just go up higher with it. And that's pretty much it. You know, our, our leggings come in the, bl the black and then again, there's a panel on the back so when you wear the cream legging, it has the black paneling on the back. And that is it for the select line. I'm gonna go ahead and get changed and we're gonna go over some of the other stuff. Next up, we have the raw line. So the raw line, color palette changes a little bit. You're not gonna see any green in this. We're still gonna have the black because black is awesome. Black just makes everything look cooler. I'm here in the gray right now. So this is the raw zip hoodie. Obviously, this one zips up. We have this in the exact same, exact same color in just a pullover. So all of these are gonna come in, again, the, the gray, the cream, the black, and then the pullover, we've also added in a pink. Why? Because we need some, we need just some spice in there. We need to spice it up. The things I really love about this, this is actually probably my favorite sweatshirt in the whole piece. We have the raw edges that start rolling over. Again, we have the exposed stitching, which to me just makes it feel again like you've had it for a while. It's one of those sweatshirts that's comfy that you love the zip up on it, and then what we've done is we've outlined all the zippers with black, and I think that gives it just more of an industrial look. You can tell it's a thicker fabric, it's gonna hold up very, very well. And the cut, pretty much the cut on everything, we created to have bigger arms, bigger shoulders than most Gymshark stuff, and then again, we're still tapered in the middle, and then at the bottom, it gets a little bit wider. And then, I'm all about layering. So we're layering things with the zip, you can rock it all the way up, 
Um, as far as the pants go, these are gonna come in black, cream, and gray. No pink sweats. Um, bottoms, coolest thing I think is that black, that black zipper that really pops, and then the black accents on here. Steve Cook again on the side, and then the Gymshark Steve Cook right there. Again, these are, these are joggers, but they're gonna fit the exact same way the other ones did in terms of if you're, if you're a large, I mean Gymshark, you're gonna be a large in these. So upper body stuff is going to be the biggest difference in sizing. Um, and then from here, we're gonna move on to the t-shirts. So we have a lot of different t-shirt variations here. My favorite are these two. So these are the raw, or not the raw, these are the faded camo. Both of these have a material that's unlike anything else that I've ever worn in my life. So it's, it's almost like uh, a ShamWow. So super duper soft, easy to wear. I'm gonna try one of these on right now after I t tell you guys what, what, what I'm wearing right now. This is a three quarter sleeved. Obviously we have the scoop neck here, just slightly scooped because we didn't want to get too deep. So slightly scoop. We have no zip on this, but you have the seam up the top, the split in the shirt. And again, this is a very long t-shirt. I have a long torso, so a lot of the stuff we have in here, um, in order to layer it, we have to have varying degrees of how long things are. This is definitely one that you're gonna be able to rock and it's gonna be nice and long. You can wear it in the gym, you can wear it out of the gym. This is probably my favorite t-shirt, like I said. The camo, just long enough. The scoop down here, the, it's just subtle enough too. It's not crazy camo in your face, but the material on it is by far the favorite material I've ever worn. Um, from that, we have the raw sleeveless. Now this is a piece that I actually I love Look, you can see how long that is. This is probably the longest piece I have in the collection. So great for layering. Obviously, this is gonna be more of your base layer of stuff. If you're in the gym working out, this is a great t-shirt right there to wear. Um, the sleeveless also allows you to wear it with different things that, that are longer sleeve um, and not, like for me, I have big arms. So if I am layering things, they tend to get bunched up right here. If I'm wearing like this, a sweatshirt and then a jacket, I'm never gonna have enough arm, root, arm room in the jacket. So by having the sleeveless and layering it with that, I'm gonna have more arm room. Um, we have this in, we have in the black, the pink, the brown, and then we also have it in a cream as well that I don't have with me. Um, and then going from that, we have the t-shirt version of the raw which is, again, same exact material, scoot neck, longer. It starts folding over. We got the exposed stitching with the slit on the side. This is our, our sweatshirt t-shirt. So it's a thicker material. It is a cap sleeve on there. It has the exposed stitching with the pocket. This one's super cool, I think, to do like shoulders in. Shoulders just start popping. Um, again, this is like, you know, your, your old man had a sweatshirt he cut up in college. It's like to simulate that vibe. Again, with a modern twist, being super long, and then the fabric is a little bit more breathable, but that exposed stitching is to kind of give that vintage look. This comes in these three colors. We decided not to go black in this one. Actually, we did have black. Um, and then moving on from that piece, we have the sweatshirt short sleeve hoodie. So this is the exact same material. It has the kangaroo pocket, and this one, again, this has a lot of details on there. Got the drawstring for the hood, so we do have the hood on this. We don't have the hood on the other one. The exposed stitching on the front, again, no pocket on this one. And then this one, I'm actually gonna try on, because it's a unique, it's a very unique fit. Um, meaning, it's still nice and long with everything we do in this line. But, the biggest thing is the sleeves in this. The sleeves being something that's gonna come down, you know, almost to your elbow. So you're not gonna wanna, this isn't, this isn't that arm day sweatshirt. This is something you wear over the cutoff, um, traveling, super comfy. But again, the, the ribs, the ribbing down the side, the exposed stitching, just the little details you see in things. And then it's also gonna start rolling because it has that raw edge. I have this in tan, pink, and then this, this black. All right guys, that is the line right there, the Steve Cook Gymshark collab. Been a year coming, a lot of cool pieces. I'm excited for you guys to get and try on. Just know that when it drops, when it sells out, it's sold out. So we're gonna be launching in Melbourne, the 10th and 11th in Melbourne. 
And then after that, it's gonna go sometime couple next couple weeks, it'll be online. So make sure you get it when it drops. Giveaway, I forgot to tell you guys about the giveaway. So on this video, you have to be subscribed, you have to have liked this video, and then comment below as to why you think you should win. Also leave what your favorite video of all time is. It can't be anything with Jake in there, because Jake is a dick. So, leave your name, what I'm gonna do, huh? Yeah, man. You leaving that in? <laughs> Probably leave that in. It's kind of funny, I think. Oh, so leave that in there, and then what we're gonna do? I'm gonna pick a winner. Let me know. I'll pick the winner before I go to Australia. I grab something for you in Australia. Um, I'm gonna say right now, it has to be the raw pullover and probably the matching raw sweatpants. That's what we're giving away. That's like $150 value at least or more. So that's gonna be the giveaway on this video. Give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed because if you're not subscribed, you can't win. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Why are you always in fashion? Yeah. And Ever since I was a little kid, I was in that fashion, man. All right, well that answers my question then. I, I was gonna say, this hey, where... does Idaho Steve sometimes, just like deep down inside of you, just wanna come and beat like new Steve's ass sometimes? <laughs> I want to style myself. Mom, don't help me out. I want to style my own. Like, leave me be. I got, I got swag. Tell my sister, like, yo, you probably shouldn't wear that together. Just kidding. I never did that, but <laughs> that'd, be a, that'd be pretty big. <laughs> no, you did. Huh? You really did. No, I didn't.